Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is Wednesday, 8 p.m. That means one thing. It is three men and a vape show. I hope we are all fine and dandy and all that good stuff. I don't know where that came from. In chat, it's lovely to see that you've joined us once again on a lovely Wednesday. And we are joined by our usual casters, the one and only Harley. How are you, Harley? I'm all right. It's been a shit day. I'm not quite sure it's been a shit day. Or, I mean... Baby's doing about five weeks, so it might just be my own moms. Well, don't worry about it. She's going to get fucking worse. It might just be my hormones. You know, well, she'll, she'll get fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit dear, isn't it? <laughs> oh, mate, you're definitely... Your fan club's going to go down. And we're also joined by the wonderful Mr. V. How are you, brother? Awesome. I don't have a fan club, so it doesn't matter who I piss off. I'm absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Well, after being poked and prodded all week by some... Nurse who wanted to see my arsehole. Yeah, no, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, it's full of vitamin C. Um, and we're also joined by the wonderful Vaping with Vic. It's nice to see you back, buddy. How are you? <laughs> you you're fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. It, it was all right until he just spent 10 minutes with me. I was like, yeah. oh, fuck. I need counselling. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should tell the story live. I think it would be very... No, I think you shouldn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was he to do with some Ribena berries in the video. nurse. <laughs> Yo, you put the Ribena berries in there. You were your oh, sexual God. mind. Yeah, but it was, it was a lot better story with the Ribena berries in it, I think. Right, well, right. For, any, for anyone who didn't catch the live off site, I'll explain what happened. So, you all know, as focus on last week, I, I turned up with 98% of a finger left. And it, these bandages have to be changed now. Does he know we've got a schedule to keep on? Right, it's all right, don't worry. Let him go. Let him go. <laughs> it's worth it for the story. Oh, is, is this, yeah, fuck it. Anyway, schedule, schedule. So I have a district nurse that comes to me to change a band, and this is the first time that this woman had turned up. I've never met her before. Didn't know who she was. She turns up. We go into the bedroom because obviously downstairs she's been all built. She's not like that. Not like that. You know, my, my wife is next door. Don't get them for so you dirty bastards. So I'm sat on the bed and she's there. She's re-wrapping my finger and putting this bandage on. And then just, I think, right, job done. She turns around, she goes, right, there's one more thing I need you to do. I need you to stand up, drop your shorts and bend over. Right. Excuse me, what? I need you to stand up, drop your shorts and bend. Over. Now, at this point, I think, is she taking the piss? Because I don't do this on the first date. You, you know what I mean? Like, this Not shit. without a bag of chips, anyway. So <laughs> then it's, exactly. Well, or a kebab. A kebab, I'm all right. You know, I'll do anything for a kebab. That's what you're so, probably looking for. The, <laughs> yay. So, I, I asked her what all this was about. And because I'm such a voluptuous person, you know, in sexy in my fat bastard ways, she has to check me for sores. And I'm like, well, I'm not sore, love. I'm fine. No, we have to check. It will well, be no, 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 no. I'm, I'm fine. Trust me, you don't need to go there. But she was insistent. So eventually I stood up, pulled my shorts down, bent over, looked in the mirror, and I swear to God, she's there with the biggest fucking iPad I've ever seen in my life, taking a picture of my bare arsehole. And the only thought that's run through my mind since then, and this is a true fact, Somewhere right now in the NHS system is a picture of my arse. Who can say that? Quite you frankly, know, a phone camera weren't gonna cut it. <laughs> you see what? Nobody did a big part. Do you know? Do you know what that story nice reminds me of? I remember, like, I think it was like the 1985 Olympics or something like that. And I don't know if people remember Duncan Goodyear. He was like a bald-headed swimmer. Oh, yeah, yeah, Duncan Goodyear. And I, I remember once he dived off the board and his shorts come off, and my mum went, "Oh, bloody hell! He's cracked his head open." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> da -da -da thanks for that. We do try yeah. the fish. Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by the wonderful chat that joins us every week. You lot are a bunch of stars. Without you, we are absolutely nothing. We love you loads. Also, we love the people on the replay. This one's for all the cool cats on the replay. So, the cool cats on the replay. Harley. Somebody that usually watches live, but in with us tonight because he's working is Paul Schofield. Great show as always. Even uh, maybe even better than usual. Having to work, so can't watch for the next couple of weeks. Glad you're getting your health sorted. Aiden, big love. Paul, don't you worry, we will be on the replay whenever you get home, every time. Every Wednesday at least. 
Darth Vapor commenting to be vape famous. Whoop, whoop. Darth. And also... Failed, to, failed dramatically. And also <laughs> to tell Harley he's the best. And the real reason all the ladies... The fuck's it? What's this Harley fan club bullshit all about? I, wa- I watch it. Now, bear, bear in mind, he just said all, all the ladies watch it for me. I watch it because I love seeing Mr. B get soaked in fairy, the fairy washing up liquid. No, no, do <laughs> not put that in my wife's head. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> when you see her hands, you want to worry about it. Lisa, Lisa's got a cracking uh, comment to make. Harley is absolute legend. Ah, do you know, I don't, I don't know if you noticed, but this is the most I smile all the show. Now, Richard Kidd, you have commented quite a lot. Thanks, and I know I can't read all your comments out because we are very shrunk on time and I don't want to get rushed off again like I did last week so I'll just read one Aiden was asking about the sharing weed links because last week I got it confused in a, uh, so just clarifying that uh, and then he goes on to say not a problem uh, getting vape gear in Canada I hate PayPal rather use my debit card credit card and vapor sourcing blows sorry guys lol but I pre-ordered a lost vape Ursa and never received it Mike Haynes says mm-hmm. watching on the replay Hi, Harley. Hi, Mr. B. Hi, Aiden. Hi! And that's that's like, just don't mention me then. Fuck you. <laughs> well, they didn't, well, they didn't no, know you were going to be here. <laughs> to be fair, this is the first time you've stepped up to the number one show in the country, so it is a bit of a shock. Yeah, it's been up in the one vape show quite a while. <laughs> quite a few times. <sighs> well, it's the first Lethal. time since I've been here. <laughs> uh, and I've was that the people on the replay? It was. That's the people on the replay. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, to get your... If you watch this on the replay, you mean just as much as us. Make sure you put your comments down below. Also, don't forget, we will be doing your Rochford project later on. Just in the corner, you have got a percentage off while the show is on. Go and use it. Also, Vapolix. Don't forget as well, the code is coming down there and you also get some money off the Vapolix. Yeah, we have to do that because you have to remember, there is a Vapolix with a C. But we have to do the... Because this right, one's with an X. Right, So we, yep. we, we do it with the X. Suck it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you what, we're going to get one of the, um, the the longest segment out of the way before we start talking to Vic. The people, the hand check time. So what I need to do is I need to uh, go over to the other page and do hand check. It's that time, people. It's hand check time. Well planned. It's, <laughs> it's putting me to shame. Hold on, I need to get a cup of tea. <laughs> oh, it's already made it downstairs. <laughs> you need to bring a kettle up. <laughs> yeah, but then all you do is. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Amanda Gibson with a topside SQ uh, Asgard minute with a strawberry delight from a pantry range. You, you know, I still, I still think that is one of the one of the nicest shaped mods out there. I love the design of it. Yeah, that is nice. Next up, we've got Andy Fretwell, the old fearful August GT with a Brunheld MTL. Can't it's beat it. He's, he's good, he's, it's a good little soldier, is that one? We've got Bill Richards with this little beauty. Now, what is it? I was looking at this earlier thinking, I know what it is, and it still ain't clicked. It's a vape mod. It's an eye... Pioneer it's, for you. Yeah. yeah. What's, yeah. The, what's the abbreviation? When is it the IPV... No, it's not the three. Is it? I think it IP3-ly? is. IP3-ly? <laughs> IP3-ly. I'd come now, now my sugars are down. <laughs> I think that's the IPV3. It might be the two, though. I'm not sure. I think it's the three. IPV, that's our, what, what, what we're going to say. It, it's either an abuse three or a one two. One of the two. Yeah. I, I like the look of it. It looks really nice. That. What's the tank? <laughs> I'm gonna clue. Uh, no, like, oh, no, it's not. It's not a nice old tank, is it? No, it can't be. No, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 head floor's completely wrong on that for nice. The old. digi flavor. It's a digi flavor, apparently. Is it? Hmm. Oh fuck! It's an IPV8. Eight. What the hell were you doing with it, Bill? Slamming it against a wall or something? I think that's just the effect. It's, it's a crickle effect. <laughs> no, oh, right, yeah. yeah so they, come, they come pre-fucked, do they? No, but the <laughs> thing is, the look at the bottom. It's all warm and stuff. Yeah. Saying that, I've, I've, got, I've got an IPv2 mini down there, and that went back in 2016. Yeah. Whatever you're cleaning your mod with, it's far too harsh. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, you know this is, don't you? 
It's that's Kieran a Fuji Dine. film. Yeah, that's eating. a food. That's a Fuji film. XT3. Tell you, it is. Yeah, it's Kieran Dial of Inakin Census, RS2 with 88 bit Raspberry Ripple. There's He's a camera really somewhere good. in the picture too. He's very what gets me right is he managed to take that picture with a lens cap on. Now that is skill. Yeah, <laughs> through, through a mirror. <laughs> that is amazing. Craig Campbell with a Vapresso Gen with a Cremel 2. I've never liked that Vapress. I've never liked the Gen 3 at all. Oh, I do. It's a good mod. I like the feel just, of them. I like that. I don't, I don't like the look of it. I mean, it's too oldy. Well, it's too much of a throwback to 2016 for me. Oh, I don't know. I think it's a really good mod, mate. Next up, we've got Craig Mikkel with a Fatal Mod uh, yeah. from the QP with a Juggernaut 2 and some Creme. Uh, do you know how I looked about to pronounce this earlier? Anglais? Creme Anglais. Anglais. That's what I said. <laughs> so, you looked, so you looked up how to pronounce it and still fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> and it's from Wicked it up and I went, is it Anglais? <laughs> Wicked Addiction, uh, Mr. B, spelt with a W. Just, just, just Same so as Wanker. <laughs> <laughs> Full Moon, I meant to turn this round for you, dude. I'm sorry. I Full never moon. got around to it. Ages X with a Brunhild RDTA. Hashtag Club RTDA. RDTA. He uh, sent me a Pulse T-shirt. 90. I'm going to wear that tomorrow. Pulse 90 with the uh, Galaxy's RDTA. Because we're rocking the RDTAs. George, uh, George, Gareth George with a hammer of God and the death trap RTA. Good, but not Isn't quite it? an RDTA. Nice. Yeah, I, I quite like I've just realised that that's on a a bike. bike. Pedal. Yeah. Pedal. Nice. What we'll give it away? Is, is it the tyre? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a strange place to keep your vape, isn't it, really? <laughs> Might be able to do tricks so it just pushes it down and it goes up, catches it. <laughs> Chicos. Ooh, I like that. Stone Edition. That is nice. Hammer of Gods with uh, Vanilla. Nah, you're going to have to help me out here. What? Boulevard. It's Wick Liquor. No, the... Boulevard. N E N I E F H E I M. What? That's what he says. Where the N- fuck are you looking? Na- knife a hill. Oh, Nephilim. No, ne- no. Yeah. Oh, Nephilim. Nephilim, that's the one. Nephilim. That's not a word. That's something grandma used to No, it is. It's it's one of the nine realms in Norse mythology. Yeah. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, you're getting a history lesson now? Yeah, that's me highly confused. Well, it's more of a... It's, yeah, never mind. It's not history. <laughs> yeah, vape with a, J, yeah, J vape with a Vapresso Gen S and the Criminal 2 Gen X with the Drop 1.5. And, and a big advert for Rochard Project. Yep. A well, right. worth, a well worth my right. advert, I might add, because their their liquids are pucker. Vic, it's called product placement. We, we've spent a lot of time trying to get this right. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't ruin it by pointing it out. <laughs> it didn't actually put them there. I had to edit them in, and you've just thrown it straight out of water for crying out loud. Get me, Bobs. Next up, we've got Les Wardle with his hand check. <laughs> Somebody's drawn on his hand. <laughs> That's how our 11-year-old daughter comes home every day with a different one. <laughs> yeah. Mark H on the Asgard 30 mil and the G-Class with some doos there, bubbly. Black and, and the gold G-Class at that, limited edition. Yeah. And the Manto Beast PM uh, PWM with the Asmodus blank RDA and some... Amatorium, that's that's really nice, that mint cake. Oh, I was waiting to see if you pronounce it right. It's considering Net Reality's been on the show, I was just waiting for it. Oh, amatorium. Well, I were taking a breath to say it properly. Amatorium. But uh, uh, Aiden saved me. Matt Mannion, forgot again uh, to get a pick of my first mod, Bloody Diabetes. So here is my <laughs> Saker's sub on the top of a Van de Vape Go with some Zeus juice. Good I've not tried that circus yet, but I'm hearing good things about it. <laughs> Next up, we've got Matt Reedy with uh, the juice is dark matter, like Zeus, but Zeus the black, but more black currenter. And obviously, that's the ages. And what's the uh, what's the tank? Stew, Stew about time. What's not? 
Because he gets it, it's blue. No, he said it's Drew Valentine. Oh, for, oh it's blue when it's dark. <laughs> it fucking well is. It's a damn, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's Squid Industry. It's Neil Ooh. Brooks's. It is rather beautiful, isn't it? I do like that. I like it a lot. I like my brick. Paul Grierson with the the, the, the the Geek Vape. Who said Vape? Vape. Oh, never mind. Start again. Geek Vape X. Ages X. And then the Voop who's behind it. Yeah, Drag 3. And is that the Argus? Well, it could be many of their massive collection that all look the same, couldn't it? This is Sarah Lou, bullet powered by X or set, filled with. Oh, I, I don't even dare, Mister. I could, I could look at that pitch, the pictures of a billet box every freaking week. Why? It's just an expensive EIO. I know, but I like it. That's I don't. Just I, that's me just. Me, that's me just pissed off all the billet box fans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's two things you don't piss off, Billy Bot fans and Russians. <laughs> <laughs> well, personally, I looked straight past the Billy Box and thought, that is a nice field. Yeah, it's <laughs> a nice, set, <laughs> nice set daisies. But as um, I carried on reading, it took some random field in Sheffield, and I thought, that's why it's a nice field. Because <laughs> everything from Sheffield is nice. Look at you sucking up to all the Yorkshire. Just wish, you just wish you're from Yorkshire, don't you? I'm actually you from Sheffield. The fact so. you, you know you're from, you're from Derby. Keep telling everyone. Scott Lee, Box Mod Mafia, Billy Club, and the Karma RDA with the Pamaletto from Vape Bay. Lovely. And uh, then we're yeah. done. Sorry, guys. That was quite a, quite a long session this week, wasn't it? But thank I you, you for I think you pulled up all the hand checks for the last month. Yeah, I thought I thought his actual mouse had broke halfway through. I thought, is that fucking picture moving or not? How many times can you, how long can you look at a billet box and fucking daisies without making a yeah. shape? He, he got a chubby when he saw the field. That's all he got. He was, he was <laughs> yeah, thinking, I want that grass. Uh, big love to everybody for doing the hand checks. We'll be doing them next week. Obviously, we have got a special guest who has had a bit of a, a time off from Thank the you for saying that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's had a bit of time off, and it's really nice to see you back, buddy. How you been keeping? I've been, I've been shit basically, but I'm not so bad now. It, it, they've, they've sort of narrowed it down. What the problem is, haven't they? Yeah, they've narrowed it. They've narrowed one of the problems down. There's still a bit of pain, which means it's more diet plans and fucking diet, fucking diaries and shit. But the the, the major culprit they got right, they they managed to track that down and basically got rid of it. It just happens to be the favourite thing that I sprinkle on basically everything that I eat, though. But I'm not fucking complaining. I, I tell you what, I, I say this a lot. Pain is the biggest demotivator in the world. Right, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's nothing worse. I don't care if it's toothache, arsehache, backache, whatever, headache. This is the big... If you've got it constantly and you get no time off from it, you just it's the biggest demotivator in the world. That's why yeah. I took the last month off. You said you said our sake, Mister B. I'm just wondering if, you, if you've had any of that lately. <laughs> See, your brain goes there because it's wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? You know when you told us the story about that nurse doing that? I would actually. You know when somebody says this, there's always two sides of a story. <laughs> I, 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 love story her, I love to hear her side. This <laughs> yeah. fucking gorilla bent over and sw- <laughs> I it. so And I'm easy. thinking to myself, I hope you don't fucking fart because I'm going to be in next county. Um, <laughs> So obviously, uh, as reviewers, all, all three of us, all, all four of us, know here that that when once you stop, when, when you're on a roll, you're all right. You think right, I'm going to get that done. You're on a roll. You keep just keep going and getting them reviews out. Obviously, with the amount you do get in as well, as have you found it a little bit hard to to get that motivation to to get on and do it? No, not really, because I'm getting loads and loads of emails from companies going, "Where's the?" <laughs> so that's that's a bit of motivation right there. So yeah, walked in. I walked into the studio on Monday morning because I hadn't, I wasn't up there practically all the way through June. Walked into the studio on Monday morning and there was basically a pile of something like twenty odd packages waiting for me at the uh, at the at the building manager's office. And okay, about half of it was pods, but it was like you know, it's and here's the thing. I, I I did send out emails to a lot of the manufacturers that were that were sending me stuff out, and I was like, this was at the first week of June, 
didn't even know I was going to take the entire month off. I just said to them, look, I'm taking the next week or two weeks off, which turned into a month. And they were like, oh, that's okay. We'll just send you stuff anyway. And I'm like, oh, all right then. You're not going to get it reviewed for about a month and a half, two months. And that's, oh, that's okay. No worries, Vic. Just review it in your own time. Okay, fair enough. And then it turned into... <laughs> You, you know, you, this body so brilliant, it's going to make you feel better. Yeah, all right, son. Just send it. <laughs> See, that, 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 that is the thing with them. It, I've had it where I, I got one um, from a company the other day, not not mentioning who it is, but um, the, the, it, it not it not even not even arrived in my house. It was stuck in fucking customs. And he went, um, could you tell me when you're actually going to be putting your review up? Oh, well, and it actually fucking arrives at help. <laughs> Yeah, Would you like to be in customs and tell tell me what they think of it? I actually you, sent them that message. I said, "Look, I've just checked. It's stuck in customs. You said it was going to be sent. I was waiting for it to to arrive. It's stuck in. And and who is it? And it's like if it's DHL, you're fine. Um, if it's the post office, Royal Mail, you know it's going to turn up. There's only one company you know that's going to hold it up. UPS. UPS. Yeah, UPS. It's always fucking UPS. But I'd like to highlight my reminder of what happened throughout lockdown. Of, <laughs> what you'd like gonna... to. <laughs> Well, you got some light highlight. <laughs> yeah. No, I do it every day. I print it off and highlight it just to remind myself how shit we are. The, if anyone was watching that didn't hear the story, UPS sent me an email going, we're going to deliver you a parcel tomorrow. Oh, cracking. I won't be in because we're in lockdown and the government said I'm not allowed to be at my shop. So can you take it to pickup point half a mile away? Yeah, we'll do that for you. No problem, Harley. Cracking. Three weeks later, where's my uh, parcel? Oh, it's been held up because of Brexit. What? No, you're taking it half a mile. Yeah, but because of Brexit. So you're telling me if I wanted a parcel delivering to London tomorrow, it'd take three weeks. Oh, no, we could do that. It's half a mile. It's a different postcode. <clears throat> it's Brexit. Okay. Oh. That, it, it, it's just an, as well with UPS. If you've got DHL, like I said, and all the other ones, if they say that it's going to be delivered on that day, it is going to be delivered on that day. But if oh, UPS yeah. do it, they just automatically go, right, it's going to be delivered tomorrow. So you sit there waiting. And you'll get to about, if it gets to about quarter to five, you know for a fact it's, it's going to be even. the next day or there's a problem with it. But I'm, you... having, I'm having a fight at the moment with FedEx. What a set of unbelievable twats they are. Uh, Someone sent me a parcel, didn't even know it was coming. Somebody sent me a parcel. It arrived on my doorstep. Oh, that's nice. Two weeks later, I get a letter through the post saying you owe £60. But for fucking what? <laughs> I didn't order anything. It just came to me door. But that's like me. That's like me going out, buying a Big Mac, putting it on the next door's doorstep, and ringing them two days later. Say, right, you owe me fifteen pound fifty for that that Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but I've got worse than that because UPS do that quite a lot. And I got a letter from UPS of a month, and I think I sent it to you guys in chat. I'm like, oh, so I've got this letter telling me that I owe three quid. And I'm like, you know what? It's three quid. I can't be asked for that, so I just pay it. So I phoned them and be like. Oh, what's your reference? This is I've written one on it. The only reference for it is this one. Oh, no, we need your way bill. And I'm like, well, bring a way bill on it. So I don't know what the parcel's for or anything. It doesn't tell me. All it says is I owe you £3 that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So then I, then I emailed them. I said, right, you haven't given me any reference to how to pay it or anything. And every, everywhere I go, online, everything says I need a way bill. But I ain't got it. Well, uh, you'd have to use Webbill. <laughs> Do you want my money or not? What the, the f- oh, The thing, I think uh, uh, there are a new, n- number of us who had it with Oxford with them, but I had it and they said that I owed £43. So I'm there arguing, saying, look, I'm not being funny. You delivered it, but you left it with my next door neighbour. So you didn't give me a chance to, to say I didn't want it. I says, so you've just <laughs> left it. I says, but also the fact, come and pick it up if you want. Well, if we pick it up, you're still going to have to be charged for it. But you know what UPS can do is they can refuse then to put anything, drop it off to your house. So you're in a catch-22. So you're better paying it, and then if you want to argue it, you better go into customs. But 99%, I mean, 99% of the time with UPS, it isn't actually customs charges. It's their handling charges. Oh, it's all handling yeah. charges and admin charges and admin fees. They're fucking robbing bastards. In my uh, whole life, I've had one parcel sent to me from FedEx. In my whole life. And they turned around to me and said, yeah, if you don't pay, we, we just won't deliver to you again. Fine. You don't fucking deliver to me anyway. It's not a problem, so. <laughs> I got one. And on the invoice, it said, product value, £16. Brokerage <laughs> fee. Brokerage fee, £96. 
Yeah. I just looked at him and went, mate, and he went, no, if I'd have seen that, I wouldn't have even brought it. Three weeks later, it arrived back at the shop with this, a big paid stamp on it. Uh, I, I don't know if they paid for it or what, but I was like, I'm not paying £96. But, but there, there is 16. that. Uh, you did it, didn't you, Vic? And also, I think Dean Devil Vapor did it. There's something where you can go to the government. What's it called? And you can actually do the... Yeah, there's a, there's, there's, there's a bypass in place, and the, the UK government put it in place around about 2019, probably preparing for Brexit or some shit like that, where if you're a business and you are receiving samples, which is what we do, we yeah. receive samples, you can put in for what is essential, you can put in for what is essentially a waiver. And then what you can do is that once you have the waiver number, attached to yourself or your business, you can then phone up UPS and say, here's my fucking waiver number. If you don't deliver this now, I'm going to report you to HMRC for breaking UK law. Oh, yeah, they're very quick Ooh. in delivering after that. Very fucking quick. It, it, it's, it, it's one of the things, you know, when, when you do talk to companies, as long as they pay that... I've had plenty of them, and I must touch wood, I've never had one. You know, when they've said, yes, we'll pay it, you pay it first and then we'll pay you back. I must admit, I've had loads of companies do that, and they've all yeah. paid me. The PayPal it. All right, it might be short of about four quid because the, the, you know, the rates and stuff like that, yeah. but the, the, they've always done it. What's I think the biggest... it's scandalous. Absolutely scandalous. I mean, I, it should be hedged. If customers has got a problem where it's going to cost us, whatever, customers should be getting in touch with you. It should be. Not customers. them. Yeah. Not FedEx who say, oh, well, it only costs us £10. We'll charge him 150 Fuck off. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Born yesterday? Get fucked. Well, yeah, that, that's like like we were saying, the UPS, it's all their, their handling fee. Well, they've said, look, will you pick it up at one end and will you drop it off at the other? Why is it being held up? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll hold that up. Well, <laughs> they've, they've got your balls in their hands, haven't they? John. You, can't, you can't fight against it. I think that's the problem. There needs to be some sort of body that goes... Oh, right, actually, if if they're charging you extortionate amount, come to us and we'll sort them out. Type thing. It just seems to be untapped. If we can do what we want, and fair I, enough, I, I don't, don't think do it's just to do with parcels. I feel you know, if you go back, but say in nineties, eighties, even even like your banks and stuff, you always had somebody you phoned up and you spoke to somebody, and it was none of this send me an email, send me a letter. You oh, could phone yeah. up, you could speak to somebody, and you could sort your problem out. Nowadays, there's so many tactics where they'll go right. You have to put a, a, an email into this company. It'll yep. take 28 days for this, and then because what they're then thinking is that person's going to sit there and go, I tell you what, fuck this. I ain't doing that. Not worth it. Not, not for 26 quid. It's not worth it. Yeah, and it's, that's it's... where a lot of people get the money. See, if it had been a tenner or something like that, I'd probably just gone, ah, oh, fuck, it's a tenner, fuck it. But 60 quid? No, there's a limit where I get to where I go into go fuck yourself mode. Yeah. And it's usually around the 40 quid mark. If someone starts demanding 40 quid for a stupid reason, like, no, go fuck yourself. Well, we'll do this, we'll fucking do it. <laughs> I don't give a shit. No, it's... 21, if you want money off Mr. B, go at it at 9.99. quid in your all right. <laughs> 9.99, not a problem. The best thing about it, just know that fucking nurse ain't watching because she's going to be fucking blackmailing you for 40 quid. <laughs> I, 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 tell, I tell you what, I'm fairly certain there's going to be a lawsuit coming through for unf inhumane fucking activities. <laughs> yeah. PTSD. Send him back, yeah. send him back. So, Vic, obviously, with you having a little bit of time off as well, um, has anything took your fancy that you've been sitting on the sidelines looking that you've seen? Has anything so? Well, so that's quite nice. Or I don't count. <laughs> He's not bent over your desk. Can be. You... <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that took the, the only thing that made me go, "Oh, that looks all right," is that new thing from Lost Bit that they had to change the name of because it sounded too much like Scrotum. It's <laughs> Ah, oh, scoot, yeah, scoot him, whatever. What the what, fuck, Lost What me? idiot. What it, the it's fuck? Like, it's like China doesn't know how words work. They don't, they <laughs> don't. But apparently they've changed the name. They were going to send me one out, but they're, they're going to be... They're it's it's be, now called the Wolver. <laughs> but yeah, they're going to be sending me one out anyway. Um, <laughs> what happened that? I mean, calm down. Sorry, that tickled me to that one, sorry. <laughs> but right there. Apart from that, that's been it. I mean, I, I'm I'm looking at the stuff that's been sent, uh, that's been sent over the past couple of weeks, and yeah, there's a couple of decent mods. One of them I can't show, 
Uh, there's been a couple of decent mods, a couple of decent tanks, and then it's AIO, AIO, pod, 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 AIO, AIO, pod, 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 pod. In that song. An AIO. AIO. Another pod. Um, uh, this, it's like, you know, the only thing that took my fancy was that thing from Lost Rape, and that was basically it. <laughs> but it's it brilliant that it's called the Scrotum. And by the way, it's not called the, the Vulva, it was called the Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> that were that it were when we had Mike Vapes on, wasn't it? That were fucking yeah. that were, it were brilliant that. And and the best bit about that, obviously if you watched the UK Vape show we did it, well the, when we start Adam won't mind us telling this. Now obviously Adam at the time was doing the reactions video. Yeah. You, you know that? And, and so when we obviously we were all sat before we waiting for Mike Vapes to get in. So then Mike Vapes gets into the Zoom room and we obviously straight away Adam goes off talking to him, and Adam goes, um, well, I, I do these, like, retro, and I, I look at people's first videos, but you're so boring. <laughs> <laughs> so I could see Mike looking like, what do you fucking mean I'm boring? <laughs> so, and I could see Adam thinking, shit, what have I just said? So I had to go, no, he doesn't mean you're actually boring, he means that you were so good. <laughs> and it, <laughs> it we poor old Adam, it was brilliant. You're fucking boring, son, you're shit. <laughs> To Mike Vapes, it was brilliant, that. <sighs> and by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if touch wood, if everything's all, all all right, we we are back tomorrow as well, aren't we, Vic? Yeah, UK Vape Show should be back tomorrow. Yes. Glad to hear it. Yeah, it's going to be a good old giggle. But yeah, that was so funny from Adam. It, we, we just see <laughs> his face. Uh, so then when, when, when um, uh, Suck My Mod come on as well... Um, we went, just don't say that he's fucking boring. <laughs> just don't, don't say it. Yeah, that that was the uh, the Bangkok <laughs> Bangkok RDA. It was absolutely funny as fuck. That I really did enjoy that. Yeah, but, fuck hell, mate. <laughs> yeah, um, the uh, the the new one that they've just done is a full. What do you call it? Wasn't it the uh, the R's? Yeah, hopefully it fails and they go bankrupt. <laughs> oh, did I just say that out loud? Oops, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. So, so let, let, let me just get it. You're not bitter about it and you've moved on then, I take no, it. I'm not, I'm not bitter at all. I have completely moved on from Hellbeat shafting me because they're bastards. <laughs> and the, to, to be fair, I've been sat here for, for ages going, fuck Hellbeat. Bunch of bastards. Tramadol at <laughs> the ready, Tramadol at the ready. <laughs> 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 so while he takes a sip of his uh, piss water cup of tea and he takes three seconds I don't know that tea <laughs> fucker <laughs> and he, and he, he, he I've, takes seen, I've, I've, I've seen I've seen darker albinos <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we will do the new stuff. It is time for... Wait there, wait there. No, that's the wrong one. I did. See, it's been a while. It is time for Harley's Tech Report. Yeah, it's Harley's Tech Report. <laughs> Up the football league we go. Chinese mafia. Can't beat them. They all sit around oh, the table. Shit. Right, everybody. This is oh, what we're bringing out. Well, Vic called it, didn't he? It's going to be all pods, he said. Actually, that one looks not bad. That actually looks nice. Shut up. No, Shut up. That, that does Shut look quite up. nice. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's for Captain Ergo by um, iJoy. 5.5 mil if you're not in TPD. 0.8 coils, IP68, not 67, 68. Auto draw, so that's draw activation. It's got 15 watts. 930 milliamp power, which 930 amp power, I kind of went, yeah, that's decent. And then realised how huge it were. Because it sure. is pretty big. It's, it's about as big as the Boost mods. Um, okay, the rainbow it, ones are fucking disgusting. Yeah, I'm not I was just, I would, I was just thinking depends. they'd be perfect for Mr. B, but... Well, it depends on how much LSD you drop. Don't... <laughs> hey, you're in my good books at the moment, dickhead. Don't, you don't be sent to the dark side. <laughs> I hate rainbow, though. Yeah, zip it. You sound it. like the most pessimistic person. I hate rainbows. Can't no, stand I love, them. I love rainbows. I just hate rainbow coloured mods and stuff. I, just, I haven't yeah. heard about like Zippy and Bungle. <laughs> Fucking Bungle. Hated him. I wrote him for an autograph. He never sent me one. Bastard. <laughs> hey, that's nothing that. Wazel Gummidge once told me to fuck off at a fair. <laughs> <laughs> he did as well. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't pull on his finger. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's two on oh. USB C. And it, see, done that look, nurse. look at the size of it. It's like in a grip, isn't it? For for that size, I'd expect more than nine nine hundred milliamp hour, nine thirty. Yeah, that's terrible. But it's, all, but it's an but it's an MTL device. Well, does that mean it can't uh, run it, running? Well, no, but it's running at fifteen watts. How much battery power do you need to run? Yeah, I don't, I don't think watts? it means that. I think what it means is for the size of it, you, you'd expect it to nah, be a little bit more. I've, I've got a pen. If, if you look at the size of it, it's only fourteen millimeter thick, so they couldn't. Really I'm going to a micro pack in there. Do you know, it comes on here, taking my lines. Sure, I should have held off on last screen. <laughs> it's nearly nine centimetres tall. It's five centimetres wide. And it's 15 wattages and it's IP68. What do you say, Mr B? Sorry, people, if we just disconnected, reconnect. Oh. It's all right, OBS just had a fit. It's bottom fill as well, which is always great. It never leaks bottom fillage. Next. Mm. Igloss. Oh, look. By you well. Fuck another one of those. Well, do you know yeah. I was quite happy. I saw this and I thought, oh, actually, I really liked the last one which I reviewed. My missus still uses it. She likes it. Then I realised it's got a pod connection rather than a, a screw connection. Five ten. Five how ten. Many that's the word. How many of those are they going to fucking churn out? It's one after another for fuck's sake. Yeah, the only it, one I've ever liked was the one that Vic sent me, which was the is it the Vit. Yeah, the that's just so cool. Yeah, yep. that's the only one I like for the simple reason it's got that sort of, um, oh, what do you call it, steampunk sort of look to it. The only reason why I liked it, I thought it was really cool. That looked plain. I really, I, I really like the the Argus Pro, but the, obviously a lot of companies are just going down the same route of the the design. Chinese, va- Chinese vaping mafia. Don't the you? same look, the same coil, the same fucking everything. Yeah. Just to play a flow by turning the pod, which is similar to some of that's come out Moving. recently. <laughs> and you can get an adapter for it. I'd, I'd have much rather it be the other way around. I'd have much rather the adapter was on the pod, like the new Vupu stuff, yeah. and it had the 510 connection. Yeah. It's a better way around, isn't it? You know, it's not going to fall off. You're screwing it in. And they have the colours. Yeah, that's a meh. Now, what were you saying about Lost Vapes, uh, Scrotum or something? Scrotum! I believe this is the one it is. Yeah, I have to say about the Scrotum as well, the Mr. B message me, he's like, Arlet, is this real? And I'm like, how would I know? He's like, well, you're the <laughs> tech guy. And I'm like, yeah, but it's not Wednesday. How would I know? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, right. Well, I'll only ask you tech questions on a fucking Wednesday then. <laughs> Jesus. Now, the, I looked at a website earlier that have got this for, on pre-order for £700. Now, what? I write up oh, that's a cockle, but it's meant to be £71. They do yeah, that loads yeah. of times. Uh, but it's 21700 yeah, To be fair, like... it is lost for it. They do charge extortionate amounts for their mods. Yeah, oh. but their mods are pretty good. The, 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 the thing that's getting me about this particular mod is that the shortages that are going on right now with the DNA 100C boards. Yeah. How yeah. many have Lost Vape actually made of this mod? That's the big question. You never know, they might have stock bought them. That happens a lot in the a lot of industries, like the beer industry. You'll get a brewery, buy a shit ton of hops and just burn them, just yep. so no one else can use them. Um, I tell I'm, you not, what, I'm not saying they're burning chips. But... <laughs> no, you can't burn chips, can you, Mr. V? The, 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 hey, the, hey. The, the, <laughs> the thing about it, though, what I'm, I'm loving about that, 21,700 at 100 watts. Brilliant. Yeah, free amp charge. Which some will be against because of the um, because it, it, some people say it's too fast, and if uh, Matt Hardy were here, he'd say that you can't really achieve that unless it's got a USB C to USB C. But they're saying it does free amp charging, so there you go. Hmm. It's got for up, upgradable for, for, for firmware, and it's got replay mode and boost mode. Beautiful. What, what you, you've already tried uh, the 100 watt C, haven't you, Vic? What, what's it yeah, like? Yeah, from uh, from one of Stu's mods over at uh, over at Vape Smarter. It's a good it's a good board. It's definitely there's 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 there is a difference between this new board, the 100 C, and the 250 C and 75 C that came before it. Because let's face it, the the 75 C and more especially the 250 C, they're old. If you think about when they first got released. They're old now, and yeah. what Evolve have done with the 100C 
is basically rework the board and the algorithms from the ground up. That's why you get full three amp charging, which you can do, but again, again, it's not as if you can get it and plug the fucking thing into your computer because your power supply won't be able to supply the full three amp. You need to use a dedicated, uh, you need to use a dedicated zip class charger to plug your your, your USB into. But I I and I don't normally say this. I actually thoroughly enjoyed using an Evolve chip for a change. Yeah, that's not you. That's your normal. It's not me at all. The 100 seat a good board, very good board. They need to make a 200 based off of that board and chat. That's what they need to do. I mean, Aidan will be happy because there's no rainbow colours. The only trouble dark. is, though, between me and you, we'll be rubbing that fucking leather for hours. <laughs> we will, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be like uh, Mr. B after that nurse has left. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, Chance, that, that was bad. I'm sorry. I had to say it, though. Fully understandable, twat. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's all I've got. The... I kept it short this week because I thought, you know, if I keep it short, they can't rush me off and, and all that shit. So I just keep it short for you. But there were a few things, pods, and I weren't right interested. So there you go. Pods. There, there will be a little, uh, a few more of them uh, next week, which we've got to, to review both of us. It's uh, some nice stuff coming out from Geek Vape. Well, you can uh, mention the name, you just can't show it. Yeah, the Obelisk 200 uh, mod uh, is, is coming out, and they've got a, a new pen as well. And they've just, I think a couple of photographs have come there, is the RDA. Yep, the dripper. Which you, I think you can actually show that, I think. Well, you can show the dripper off, just don't show the mod off. And it's, it is actually in rainbow, unfortunately. Oh, it's a fuck. top top airflow. <laughs> That's why they send them out, because we know they won't be able to sell them. Here's a top yeah, airflow. Dilly Get on, show the deck off. Dilly, dilly. See, I, I'm, not, I'm not popular enough to get sent this stuff, so I'm quite intrigued. The deck, if you can just see it, I don't know if you look at that see little it. fella. Very simple deck system, very simple dripper, but it works, it definitely yeah, works. See the airflow comes, yeah. Airflow goes down and goes that way. I'm not quite sure. Did they put a swanky donkey pin in it as well? Did I don't know if you uh, I think there is, yeah. Was a yeah, swanky, with it, being top airflow as well. Yeah, I'll be, be, uh, be surprised if you don't. No, so yeah, the, there's some nice stuff come out from there. We've also uh, the review coming up soon with the um, you've got as well the box box X. I know there's been some reviews out for that already. Yeah, another sunbox design where they were drugged up and drunk when they were drawing yeah, things for that it's design. A little, little bit funny with the the doors, a little bit funny. A little bit funny, Jesus fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's it. And it's not you can't thumb fire it. You've got to have it in that sort of wanky. So- Thing. <laughs> you can have it in the wanking <laughs> position. Yeah, there's, there's you, you, no... you're gonna get the you're gonna get the finger under the head and give it a right good. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> yeah. How do you fucking wank, Vic? <laughs> <laughs> what with that? <laughs> the thing about it as well, if you have got fat thumbs and you want to do it that way, there's no way you're gonna be able to do it. Is it's that sort of like triggery finger of. But it, I've liked the fl- the flavour is absolutely corky from it. It's it, nice clouds, but it, it's not it's really my weird design. It so is, yeah. It's very design. boxy, isn't it? Well, it's called the Box X. That's probably why it's probably boxy. Losing the name. <laughs> so it is that time, ladies and gentlemen. We're running really, really nicely on time. I quite like it when it runs like this. We're going to do your deals, and then we can talk to Vic a bit more. Press the button, Aiden. A message from deep within the jungle. I've searched high and low for a lot of the deals. So here, from Vapep, deals of the week. Deal yeah. of the week. Right now, I am. I don't. I normally do this on two screens, so you're going to have to bear with me because I'm doing this on one screen. Right here we go. We're going to start off not with the pod system as Vic predicted, but this. This is where we are starting this week, folks. Oh, we that's have a the cracking um, well crown for two hundred watt kit was fifty nine ninety nine. Now twenty four ninety nine from our friends. At JFD. However, there is a caveat. There is only one red and one silver left. That's well worth twenty four ninety nine. Oh, that's a, that, that is a that is a damn good deal for that full kit because that's a cracking tank like and that mod. Something. The checkmate yeah. mod was one of the best mods. It really was. Absolutely. Twenty five quid for the full mod. Four. Buy three, sell sell two on, you get your money back. Problem solved. <laughs> so. Moving on, we're going to move on as well to the gas mod 
Palace. 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 Really, really good, that. Palace. Nah. And Sartier was £29.99, now just £9.99 from our friends over at eSig1. Check is in the post. It comes in black with gold, and it comes in grey, but there's okay, only eight yeah. left. Get, get the black eight. and gold one. Yeah, the, the black, black and gold looks the best. That's the one I've got. Yeah, I think that looks the best. So if you are an MTL fan... Get your wallets out. That, that, to if go. somebody's wanted to wanting a little banger, uh, um, mouth to lunger, that is a really good bit of kit. Good little time, Palace. Yeah, I am on fire this week. And the next one, this is a corker, the Ultrona Eliano Light version box mod was forty nine ninety nine. Now twenty four ninety nine from our friends at EC One. Check just will be in the it, post. because if you drop it, the thing will just break on you. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I don't me. think I've ever seen me, Mister B, uh, speechless before. Yeah, I'm just like, well, that should, yeah, all right. It shit. Oh, never mind. Moving on to, uh, to our friends at Vaping One Hundred One. I'm very sorry, you see one. It's vaping with Vic's fault. That one. It, it is. The Inacon Cool Fire Z50 50 Watts box mod. If you want to be cool under fire, this is what you go for. It was $39.99, now just £26.29, pence, including BAT. It comes in black, stainless steel, and gunmetal if you are a sexy bastard. Uh, so no, there you go, folks. That, that's the one that I, uh, I give to my dad. It, it's an absolute corking bit of kit, that. Uh, it's not been that long, is it? It's, no, it's not. It must have only been out, what, maybe six months? I wouldn't know, because Anakin don't talk to me. Mm, I'm not surprised <laughs> with the way you just slammed EC1. So, <laughs> so the, the deal of the day, though, however, and I can't stress this enough, get yourself to JFD, 25 quid, that well is a poker. But there is only two left, one red, one silver. Yeah, that, there that's, you go, worth, folks. That, that's worth it, oh. just the fucking mod alone. Oh, if you, you want to see the red one... You get That's the tank the thrown in as well. And yeah, I mean, yeah. It, might be, it might be the Crown 4, but you well are still making the coils for the Crown 4. Yeah, absolutely. Them. I prefer the Crown 4 than I did to the Crown 5, if I'm totally honest with you. Yeah, the Crown 5 is too small. It's just, just fucking empty the tank in about three minutes if you're chain vaping the damn thing. Exactly. We can do with most. Have you noticed that with most suborms nowadays? They're yeah, they're getting too big. damn small. Yeah. Oh, dude, pointless. I, I can actually get more liquid in it. I can actually get more use after an RDA than I do after a, a sub one. But there you go, folks. That is this week's deal of the week. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Da -da 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 Boom. Yeah, no, it is an inbuilt battery. I think it's a 2,500 mile battery, if I remember rightly off my head, the, the Z50. It is. Yeah. My, my, dad's, my dad's got it. Um, Again, it's an upgrade to the cool fire, but th th again, the the new one is really, really nice as well. And the Zenith Two, that, that's really nice. Review out on the channel. Go and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> good company. That they just can't, it's, a, it's a good company. They just can't take fucking criticism. Yeah, well, the, 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 there's mm -hmm. quite a number of them. We, we've I've, I, there's a lot of people who don't talk to me because they don't like you. Uh, Say anything bad about products. Just before we get into that, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, you've got your code down there for um, the wonderful Rochester project. While the code is on, while the show is on, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, fifteen percent off. That's a big whacking amount, and he's reduced his prices. He's also, don't forget, now he is also um, shipping out to Europe. Oh, is he? Yes. So Europa. if you're if you're watching in Europe, he is now shipping all the way over there. So if you get get yourself in there, get yourself in there. Also, don't forget Vaporholics. Yes. The code is coming up down below. Um, go and check them out next week as well. People is the Oxford giveaway. So make sure you join us next week, which is show ninety nine. We're not far away from the hundredth show. Um, the just while we're talking about the Rochford project, we are going to do the um, or start the giveaway off. It is a Rochford. Go and stick it in, people. That is the keyword. Only stick it in once. If not, you'll be struck out. Um, and it is over to the UK and Ireland, all of Ireland. That, we've got that is it. Rochford with an R, by the way. I've just put that in. That's Rochford. Ich bin fucking good. <laughs> well, yours were, were Crotchford, wasn't it? I've got half a weird. I've got half a fucking warehouse of Rochford project bottles yeah. under the table right now. Uh, for the giveaways, by the way. Oh yeah, they're totally for the giveaways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
got to the side, they're going, bastard, we'll just send him some more. <laughs> well, you were lucky you got the concentrate as well, didn't you? Oh, that didn't last long either. <laughs> you, know, that... you know you're not supposed to vape that straight, don't you? Like, oh, oh yeah, I didn't mix it. I didn't mix it. <laughs> that, 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 that bottle, though, is well worth keeping. Did you keep the bottle, obviously? If, oh, yeah, you... I kept the bottle. It was a massive big bottle. It looked absolutely amazing as well. There we go. Oof, bloody hell. That, that made about three litres, that did. Jesus. That's nice, that. Have you tried any of the Amatorium yet from Net Reality? No. That, 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 that's been nice. He did say he was going to send some out, but I think because I was ill, he didn't get in contact with me yet, but he did say he was going to send some out later on. Nice I've, I've reviewed that. the lemon one. The, the lemon was surprising because I, I like a really tangy lemon. Like, I like lemon to come and punch you in the face. This is more of a subtle, yogurty lemon one. Still right. extremely nice. Really nice. Yeah, it's I, well balanced. I, I never, I never got that much of the pastry. Um, I don't know if I didn't have the wattage quite right, but where no, I only the, vape no. about, about sixty watts, I didn't get a lot of the pastry. But the lemon the, was really nice. Yeah. the biscuit, the, the main two flavors in the lemon one or enlighten is lemon and yogurt. That, in fact, the the easiest way I could explain it was a long time ago. You know, custard creams. Yeah, a yep. little while ago, they, they brought out a lemon flavor custard cream. And it tastes exactly like the filling of that. Do you know what? I, I've got that in my head, but then, you know, the lemon, I, only thing I've got in my head, do you, am I talking about vanilla here? I, I, you've nailed it on the head, exactly what I thought as well. It sort of had that, it's, it's not a biscuity, but it's sort of in between, yeah. isn't it? You're totally right. Yeah. That is on the nail of what it what it was what it tasted like the uh, hey, mint... and being a fat bastard brings me some qualifications you know what i mean yeah the, the mint as well was really nice um the i've uh, got an f18 taste tell you. The, the the mint one was really good as well the, the thing that i like about it is it's uk and it's somebody mm. who sat there and thought you know what I, I mix and everybody knows how good he's a mixer he is and he's he decided to take that plunge into it, which is is, is really hard to it's do. That scary. Sort of stuff. Yeah. It's scary. It's scary. And the thing is, though, I can tell because obviously I mix as well. I can tell when someone's put the heart and soul into actually balancing a flavour properly. They've not. They've not just gone. Oh, here's some lemon. Here's some fizz. Here's some bits and bobs. We'll slap it in. Right, it's a lemon fizz bullshit. He's actually balanced it properly. You know, you know what I was when you said that? I, I just kept thinking about that nurse with that art and soul. <laughs> <laughs> art and art soul. <laughs> Say cheese. I'll, I'll, I'll lie down and spread my legs and make it easier for you. Keep kicking, lads. Keep kicking. <laughs> it's a good job you didn't do that way here. Okay, now so that'd be... she took a picture of it. <laughs> that's terrible. That's one of the things, though, isn't it? Is, is growing older. It's just like they, they grow bigger than your knees, really. It's the, proper the hanging. Part of it, obviously, I shared that story with all my friends on Tuesday night. And when I woke up, by the time I woke up this morning, there was a picture in the VA platoon of a silverback ape walking forward so all you could see it was arse went oh I found the picture of Mr B he's in the NHS <laughs> fuck off to be fair I have found many images from my backdrop but I thought you, I don't really know if people want to see that sort of what, stuff do you think they're up for the crack <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen there is only 33 eligible 34 eligible users Liz. make sure you get it in lads it's coming down to that part of the show where we're going to have to say us goodbyes. But before we do that, we are going to roll the giveaway. Let's see what people have won. And the winner is Thunder Vape, which is a new one on me. Congratulations, Thunder, Thunder Vape. Very, very amazing. Galileo. 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 Pick your nose, pick your nose. <laughs> <laughs> We go all over the place here, man. We don't give a fuck. Why am I, why am I writing Thunder Vape's fucking email address, which I don't even know? <laughs> Say your goodbyes, Arlie. Bye, people. You probably, probably put He's... Galileo at gmail.com. Galileo. <laughs> yeah, you've been absolutely wonderful, as always. People in the replay. 
You know what to do, guys. You know I love you. Liz, don't forget to go back to the replay and comment because we love you. Vic, you've been all right as usual. Uh, Mr. B, you've been worse than that. And little bro, you've, you've been decent. Yeah, Vic, so it's been nice. See, it's been a long time. I, I was thinking of a month I hadn't seen Vic for a while, so it's been nice. Uh, yeah, Mr. It's been B, I see you far too often. Uh, chat, I can't see enough of you. For you. Mr. B! You suck up twat. So, with four minutes left, obviously, Benny Vapes is starting at nine o'clock. And with that in mind, I best make this as long as possible. Vic, how did you get into Vic? Right, Benny's my mate. (laughs) (laughs) Samantha pours me cover him. Samantha pours me cover him. (laughs) (laughs) We We love you, Benny, really. So, no, honestly, it's been fantastic. Look, Vic, you, you are welcome here anytime, and I love having you on. And if you ever need a fat bastard guest of the UK Vape Show, I'm sure I can find one for you. So, <laughs> Big love, Jay. So, with that being said, thank you all for being here. Make sure you're here next time. Hit that like button, because if you don't, you'll make a sad fuck cry. You don't By the way, he's already a got a fat cry. bastard on the show. Over to Vic. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Although I have lost about a story and a half. Didn't have a choice. I had to lose the story and a half because, yeah, I'm not going to get into that because people might be eating their dinner. Yeah, big thanks for everyone having me on. And remember, all you lovely people out there that are watching the replay, for every hi given to Harley, make sure you say hi to me twice. (laughs) Thanks, folks. Aiden, over to you. Big love to everybody. Thank you so much. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? That was shit. No, that, whoa, yeah. whoa, what's that? What, I'm, what? I'm sorry. The man who says, I produce the number one show in the UK. That was fucking crap. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for... Um... Yeah, I've lost a bit of weight as well, yeah. Um, thank you very much for everybody for joining us this week. You, join us, you, you lot are absolutely fantastic. The support we get it week in, week out, and you mean the world to us. Thank you so much to all the spanners for looking after us tonight. You've been a bunch of stars. Big love to you all. Make sure you join us next week. It is um, the 99th show. Yes, Ooh, we're man. nearly at that 100th. The 100th show is going to be really, really good, so make sure you're there for that as well. Big shout out to our sponsors, Oxford, uh, Proper Coils, the wonderful Vaporholics, and the wonderful Rochford Project. Big love, Jay. Get yourself over to Benny Vapes, the mixing show. You will not be disappointed. And join us next week. Thank you so much, Vic, um, for, for coming on, mate. And we will see you tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. The UK Vape Show is back. Yep. Come yeah, and make watch. Sure you, make sure you go watch it, because obviously he's going to need the figures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and obviously go and subscribe to Vic, because he's a struggling uh, UK Struggling reviewer. review, man. Struggling reviewer. Yeah. Struggling reviewer. Do you want me to? You know, yeah, yeah, th- th- yeah, yeah. Thunder, thunder vape. Yep, that's why I sent the email there. If you just, if you vape, uh, if you vape me, if you email me, <laughs> don't try and vape me. I'll never fit in that tank. Um, send me an email, sure, brother, and we'll sure we sort it out. <laughs> we'll sort it all out. Big love to you all. Look at yourself. Good night, Bye. <laughs> Not near my house, you know. Fit to be, pull your trousers back up. Hey! <laughs> do, you, do you like me berries? <laughs> do you like me berries? <laughs> because they're like, they're like clangers. Fucking clangers. <laughs>